What's up, guys? I'm Caden with Crypto Now or Never. Today, I'm back with another update on Jasmine. Please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. Help me pump that algorithm. I'd greatly appreciate it. None of this is financial advice. Let's get into it. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and believe. Know what I want. All right, so as you guys can see, for about the last seven days, Jasmine has been in a very nice uptrend. They're actually up 17.6% in the last seven days. Their market cap is back above 1 billion, and it's sitting at 1.1 billion, and it's ranked 78th among all cryptocurrencies. And then their circulating supply still hasn't changed. It's 98.6% in circulation. And as usual, if you guys are looking to get into Jasmine, I recommend using Binance or Coinbase. I think those are the two easiest centralized exchanges to use. But now if you scroll down to the Jasmine news section, I want to show you one of these articles. So three days ago, Smartcom, Jasmine, and Upbeat Socials, could Jasmine ride this rally? According to the tweet on X by Neotrix, Jasmine has collaborated with Smartcom Laboratories to deploy an authentication system extensively in Japan. It focuses on researching and developing advanced communication technologies and IoT solutions. Neotrix further stated that they have a strong reputation and are known for their inventive approaches and expertise in developing advanced cutting-edge systems that link various infrastructure and IoT systems within Japanese society. And then the rest of it is just talking about technical analysis. But in general, this is still very good to see for Jasmine. There are going to be a lot of newcomers in the crypto space who are going to click on articles similar to this. So it's always good to see when Jasmine is listed in these articles. And then I did also want to point out the fact that they still haven't posted anything on their X account since May 2nd. But if you do type in Jasmine on Twitter in general, there are a lot of people who are extremely bullish on Jasmine. And they're talking about how the weekly bull flag is starting to break out. And I'll go over technical analysis at the end of the video. But in general, a lot of this stuff is very good to see as well. And I'm going to say what I've been saying for a long time about Jasmine. They truly do have one of the most impressive communities out there. Now, to be fair, Jasmine does have its fair share of people that dislike them. But there are also plenty of ride or dies for Jasmine. But now we'll hop into some macro news that could affect Jasmine's price action, even though it's not directly correlated to Jasmine. So this is Watcher Guru's X account. And they posted 12 hours ago, Donald Trump says, I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin, and I will never allow the creation of a CBDC. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin, and I will never allow the creation of a central bank digital currency. Now, as I say all the time, I don't like talking about politics on my channel because I think all it does is divide our country. And I remember initially Trump said he's not going to try and destroy crypto, but he's also not pro-crypto. But I think he realized that being pro-crypto could be very beneficial to him, which is something that I certainly won't get in the way of. I think there's going to come a point in time where you cannot be anti-crypto if you are a politician. If you are, you're just going to get run over. And actually, I'll show you this video right under it as well. He says, I will ensure that the future of crypto and Bitcoin will be made in the USA. I will support the right to self-custody to the nation's 50 million crypto holders. And that right there is huge if he is actually supporting self-custody. That's one of the biggest things in crypto right now that they don't want regulation to ruin. I will ensure that the future of crypto and the future of Bitcoin will be made in the USA, not driven overseas. I will support the right to self-custody to the nation's 50 million crypto holders. I say this with your vote. I will keep Elizabeth Warren and her goons away from your Bitcoin. And given that this is an election year, things are about to get crazy for crypto. And then on May 24th, Standard Chartered Bank says Solana and XRP ETFs could launch in 2025. And that goes along with what they posted on May 23rd. The SEC officially approves all spot Ethereum ETFs. And this right here is probably the most important news. If you asked a lot of people three weeks ago whether or not they thought these would get approved, the answer definitely would have been no. But then everything completely changed about a week and a half ago. And here we are. And you have to understand, by definition, Ethereum is an altcoin. So this could potentially start a chain reaction where we start seeing a whole bunch of altcoins with ETFs. And the final thing is May 23rd, U.S. House passes a bill to ban the Federal Reserve from creating a central bank digital currency. Now, again, does this mean that there's a 0% chance that it's going to get created? No, it does not. Everything can get overturned. But this is definitely a good start. But while we're on X, you guys should come over and give your boy a follow at Crypto Now or Never. I post on here pretty much every single day, so there's some information you guys aren't going to want to miss out on. And then I would also like to take a moment to talk about my private Discord through Patreon. So at the current moment, I have three different tiers, and there are many benefits to joining my Discord. For example, you guys are going to have closer access to me, and you guys are going to be able to track the cryptos that I'm personally buying, selling, considering buying, and even the cryptos that I currently hold. And a lot of the cryptos that we trade in here are microcap gems, less than $10 million in market cap. 
And we have been making some very nice gains recently. 84% in one day, 156% in 10 days. And one of my biggest calls recently was Pepe on base, which I called it a $1.5 million market cap. And at its peak, it shot all the way up to a $48 million market cap, and it's still holding about a $20 million market cap. But the gains just go on and on. So if this sounds like something you guys might be interested in, I have the link right here on my YouTube homepage. We're building a very strong community. I would love to have you guys in here. But now for the final part of this video, I'll get into some technical analysis. And this is Jasmine in the four hour time frame. And in my last video, I was talking about how price action was bouncing off of the 50 day moving average as support, which is actually very bullish. So I said I wouldn't be surprised if we did actually see an explosive move up. Now, what I do need to point out is that the current moment, the RSI and stochastics are very overbought. So I would not be surprised at all if we do see a little bit of a pullback. However, at the same time, it absolutely could run a little bit more before the pullback. But in general, when it eventually pulls back, I would look for it to come down and retest the 21 day moving average. Typically, you're going to want to see that happen. And while it happens, the RSI and stochastics will start to reset. And then price action will ideally bounce off of the 21 day. But in general, price action looks fantastic. We had a massive green candle and then we had a bullish hammer and then another massive green candle. So things definitely could start looking up for Jasmine. Just in the short term, understand there might be a little bit of a pullback. Now, lastly, we'll take a look at Bitcoin as it's correlated to most altcoins. And Bitcoin's actually very interesting right now. It has not broken out like Jasmine. And you could argue it's trading in a little bit of a bull flag pattern as well. And at the current moment, it's actually trading above all of the moving averages. So I wouldn't be surprised if it actually bounces off of the 21 day. And unlike Jasmine, the RSI still has room to keep coming up, although the stochastics are a little bit overbought. So honestly, at the moment, I'm a little bit more 50-50 on Bitcoin. You need to watch these levels. If we start breaking beneath the moving averages, expect more downside. And the main one we do not want to lose is this 200 day moving average right here it's the golden line we had not been above this level since april 12th so if we lose it again that's going to be very bearish for the entire crypto market but just always remember crypto is still an extremely volatile asset class at the end of the day anything can happen but that's about all let me know down in the comments how high do you guys think jasmine will go this bull run if you found this content valuable please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button thank you guys for watching have a great rest of your day